What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and finally, my official Samsung cases have arrived for my Z Flip 4. Now, so right here, we have the white with orange, the silicone cover with the strap. We have the flap leather cover, and we have the clear slim cover that we're going to be talking about. I am missing a couple of cases because they're on back order or something weird, so uh, just bear with me. But we do have these three. We're going to be talking about them. These are official Samsung cases for the Z Flip 4. So let's jump right into it. All right, so here we go. We got all three cases unboxed and out here in front and ready to go. Now, I'm going to give you my 100% honest thoughts because the clear case gets a lot of fingerprints, which is expected. The silicone case, I'm really worried that it's gonna have color transfer and gonna get really dirty in this white with this orange with white on the back. And the leather case, I wish they had a left as last year because I really don't like this flapping part, but it serves its purpose. So let's start off with the least expensive of the bunch and the least and the most minimal of the bunch which is the clear one. So I'm gonna slide these off to the side. And we got the clear one. Now, I'm gonna tell you, like wireless charge works with all these cases. I don't have to test it out. Like that's just gonna be extra time in this video that I don't wanna waste for you guys. And all these are really light. So they're not gonna add a whole lot of bulk. Matter of fact, the clear one <laughs> literally adds no bulk. It's light as a feather. So that's what you're gonna get. Still shining, still reflective, still gonna be a fingerprint magnet, uh, but it is gonna protect your phone against scratches and scuffs and things like that. Not so much a protective, protective case because there's not as barely a lip around there. Like it's, it's enough, but it's barely a lip around that edge. Um, when you fold it, you know, you're still no rib protection, so. Just keep in mind that your phone can still get scratched up and scuffed up back here while it's folded. But biggest thing, it's a fingerprint magnet. Uh, phone buttons are not as tactile as I would expect. Like I have third party cases, um, like from Subcase, that the buttons are way more tactile. But your fingerprint scanner, wide open, no issues there. You do get a nice cutout and all this stuff matches up. So the clear casing, uh, it's the most minimalistic and it's the one that's really just just gonna be the the one that is going to protect against scratches and scuffs like not a whole lot of protection there one of my favorites and this is one of my favorites and one of my least favorites now this is the leather cover flap whatever they call this flap but it serves a purpose so on the inside, you do get the stickies, which I don't like the stickies, but they serve a purpose. And since I am removing these cases and doing all these reviews, I'm not removing stickies right now until I find out which case is gonna be my, my main case. Then I'll remove some stickies. Now this little flat piece that you get back here, I don't like it in phone open mode, but phone closed mode, it protects that rib. So that's, that's what everybody's looking for, protection back here. Then up front, cameras nice and protected. It does sit down in that recess, no issues there. When you open it up, still protected back here. Now the buttons on this one, way more clicky, way more tactile, and this button is still wide open. So you don't have to really worry about your touch or your fingerprint scanner having an issue. But biggest part about this is that rib protection. So. If you're looking for that, this is gonna be one of the cases that is for you. Like I said, wireless charge works on this. I don't have to do all the testing and stuff. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and just pop this out. So I know you guys are busy and you got other stuff to do. Ah, and it doesn't wanna come off. There we go. All right, so that one is the leather one. Now, this one has to be my favorite in the bunch. Can you tell why? It's got that orange flap on it. Now, the only thing I'm worried about with this is this white getting really dirty. Like that's that's the biggest thing because it just feels like it's gonna attract dirt and dust and grime and all this stuff. 
But when you put that thing on, it's it's my favorite. It's my favorite. Boom. You got nice rear protection unless you hit that corner. Now, the only thing about this is the leather one actually kind of covers the whole backing of this. Like it leaves like that much open. But with this one, it's just right down the middle. Strap does double as like a holder for your fingers. Put your fingers in there, hold the phone more securely. And then when it's not being used, it's going to give you that protection for that rib. When you open it up, nice, seamless, like no issues there. It closes all the way. Real time. Boom. Fingerprint scanner, still open, no issues. Once again, buttons on here, way more tactile than on the, 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 the clear one. So we got nice tactile buttons and you do get a nice, a uh, little bit of a raised lip if you drop it all case, all the time, unless you drop it on a jagged surface, but that's pretty much it. So these have been a few of the Samsung uh, official cases. We do have the silicone with the strap. We have the leather and we have the clear case. There are a few more coming in. They're kind of trickling in. And when I get more in, I will do more updates for you guys. I will be putting together a video of some of the best cases that I do have for this device, as well as for the Z Fold 4. So stay tuned for that and be sure and give me that big thumbs up and continue to subscribe and support this channel. Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.